now we just play the waiting game. From the outside, the lumber mill didn't look like it had a third floor. What the hell? like we found our second clue. Huh? So we got some damaged red hair. Okay. Of course, yeah. How is the lumber mill this tall? It did not look that tall from the outside. Great. Let me get out my melee weapon. This my call for the 10 millimeter submachine gun because of how close proximity these guys are. Oh, it looks like I already killed them, so it doesn't matter. The new suit doesn't look that bad. The only thing that's changed is the green tie. Looks like the power is out. We'll need to restore power to move this elevator, Zack. Oh, what's this? Okay. I could, uh, substitute that for what I've used. I'm not sure if there's anything behind the elevator, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Uh, oh, another bar. Okay. And that's that. So, two clues down, two to go. So far, so good. Lollipop. Oh boy. Why am I not surprised? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him so hard he glitched into the wall. That's cool, I got another one. Oh, I don't have anything to open that with. It's a weird looking door. There are no handprints around the, the part where the doorknob should be. A somewhat weird design, it seems. The master key does not open that door. I'm just letting you guys know. There's a bunch of corridors here. At least that one's open. Another steel pipe, I'll need that. I guess there's no purpose to this room other than the steel pipe, and that's about it. Whoa, where did you come from? I'm just checking these quarters up in order, just so I can investigate fully. Okay, all these are blocked off. Alright, nothing here. So, next hallway. Oh, come on. Give me a break, would you?
and that one's blocked off by red vines, so we're all good to go here. Oh, there's a lock on it. There we go. the sound of that. Okay, this is not happened to me before, but basically what you have to do here is shoot all the red hands before the timer runs out. Well, that was rather easy. Oh, that's weird. I thought you had to shoot all of them. I guess it's just one now. And there's your doorknob, guys. <laughs> Guess we better get back to it. Yeah, if you hear that song, that's never a good thing. I know you get to hear much of it, but at least you got a sample of it. put this thing to use. It's really weird how you use it, too. The doorknob is shaped like a hand. Classy for a lumber mill. We'll need a little handshake to open the door. That's one majestic doorknob. Peeled off fake fingernail. I need one more clue before we can profile this evidence. Alright, let's go through. It's one simple hallway. Just the way I like it. don't think there's much in here, but let me get my weapon now, just in case. And, what's this? that guy not notice me right here? I'm like in plain sight. No, I don't think I want to swing too close to that barrel. It might explode on me. I can hear my footsteps. How come he's too afraid to face me? Alright, let's in here. Coffee with milk. And... Oh, a turkey sandwich. I think the turkey sandwich gives you a lot of health. Or, uh, hunger, I should say. Because, yeah, sometimes you're, like, trapped in these, uh... Areas for so long that your sleep and your, uh, hunger would start going down. Like, usually about halfway, maybe even more, so... Yeah, I kind of see the purpose of why we need to have it. Uh, great, there's like a fork in the road. Which way should I go? Uh, does it even matter? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna try going left. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Not sure if any of these doors open. And there's so many damn corridors, I only know which way I'm supposed to go. Or if any of these doors are I'm able to open. I just saw one right here. Oh, great, hello to you too. Oh, big first aid kit. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it seems like I, uh, I'm supposed to go left, but let me check what's over on the right first. I knew, um, I know there's another path down this way. Except this. Yeah, what's over here? I was wondering. It's probably the way I'm supposed to go. Maybe not, it looks like just a single room. Okay, yeah. This is the path I could have taken, but I didn't. So I'm actually supposed <laughs> to head left. <laughs> I wish you could just, like, run and then step up, not just, like, step up all slow just to interrupt your groove, you know? Oh, screw you, Shadow. Um... Alright, fine. Great, another fork. I guess I'm just gonna... I don't even know if I've been down that way. Yeah, I saw a door with a lock on it, but let me just check down here just to see if there's anything else I'm gonna miss. Uh, but so far a bunch of locked doors, and... Yeah, I think I've... Yeah, I've been this way, okay. So yeah, let me just go back, I guess. I do remember about this place, it is pretty big and probably pretty long as well. Uh, I'm guessing that door's locked. Yeah, I probably shouldn't try to get in there. I'm getting out my weapon just in case something goes down. Okay, well, what's in my weapons locker? What did I put in here? Um, shotgun shells, first aid kits, and a bar. Well, nothing I really want or need right now, so it's all good. White noise on the TV. Who turned it on, I wonder? That's a damn good question. see anything else um, besides my suits and all
gotta hide. Uh, sh uh, I'm gonna hide here. Zack, this is a waste of time. Let's go. <laughs> Still can't go in there, I see. Well, I don't see anywhere else to go. And he pretty much just acting like nothing just happened.
Thank goodness, because my arm is getting tired. Oh, hi. I think I got the power back on, so now we can go back. What's the point of playing the waiting game like this? I mean, there's nothing happening, so why do I have to, like, sit around and wait for it to get to the bottom? Well, anyway, we're here. Really? Again? <coughs> Oh, he dropped something. Torn piece of red raincoat. At least we can profile now. That's all the information we need, Zack. Let's go back and show them what we found. Have you seen any of these things before? No, not that I know of. But that raincoat is a little odd. Odd? In a town where it rains so much? Well, the people here rarely go out in the rain. I moved here during high school, and I never really understood why. Can you shed some light on this, George? No. Oh, well... There's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale, to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. A vicious killer in a bright red raincoat. Yeah, that was it. Just a foolish piece of superstition. A rubbish story someone made up. Not many people still believe it, but I guess it's a traditional place. Most of the shops still close up when it rains. School's out, too. And since there's no reason to go out, not many people ever wear raincoats. 
and now the raincoat killer has leapt out from his picture book. Oh, by the way, would you two kindly show me your backs? Our backs? Is this related to the case? The person with the upside-down peace mark in that photo we found. He's our killer. And what makes you so sure about that? Zack and I saw him kill Anna in the lumber mill. He killed her. Right in there. Oh, one thing. Please don't ask me about Zack. That's a private matter. Anyway, by showing me your backs, we can clear up most of my concerns about you. Isn't that for the best? You do want to remove yourselves from the suspect list. It will make things a lot easier. This is insane. Your methods are rude, insulting, and out of the question. And Emily is a female officer. Forcing her to show you her back is harassment. I don't care if you are FBI or not. You are out of line. Mm-hmm. Hmm. George, it's okay. Let's just show him and get it over with. Emily, are you crazy? Look, we flash our backs and he'll start trusting us a little more. Right? Agent York? Are you satisfied now? Yes. My apologies. <sighs> now you, George. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can't refuse it now, can I? But don't expect to get your way all the time, Agent Morgan. Hmm. George! What are these scars? Just like your Mr. Zack. Something private. I don't have to tell you about it. Of course. Just like Zack. We can understand that, right, Zack? Anyway, this will make things a lot easier from now on. I'm glad to say you're both pretty much off the hook. Thank you for your cooperation. If anyone is suspicious around here, it's him. He's the most suspicious. No, I don't think so. But he certainly is the most irritating. We've studied the crime scene. You know what we have to do next, Zach. George... Can we arrange to have the town folk gather in one place? There are some things I want to address with the town folk. Very well. I'll arrange to have as many as possible gather in the community center tomorrow. Thank you, George. <laughs> <laughs>